Hello everyone, Flying High here, Electronic Fighter Pilot School, and today we are actually going to learn how to refuel in the DCS F-14 Tomcat, okay? So, let's start. First of all, well, you need to call the tanker, put the frequency on the radio, call it, I've already done that and uh, find out what altitude he is and just fly towards it using Takan and then form on his left wing that's very important in real life pilots form on the left wing of the tanker that's going to call the ob the observation area and that's where they're going to wait for their turn to refuel always prioritizing the guys that have less fuel then when you're done you're going to slide on there the tanker and form on the right wing the right wing is going to be called the reformation area that's where you're gonna reform with your bodies and then go back home or keep on going with your mission or whatever you need to do so that's that we've already done that I'm already flying here in the observation area with my wingman down there and um, I can see there's no traffic no other airplanes refueling or whatever so the first thing I want to do when I join the tanker is actually uh, to to make life easier for you and don't have your airplane move that much especially in the rolling movement you know you're gonna set your wings into bomb mode I, I've already did that so you can see my indicator there and you can look back and my wings are in bomb so that's gonna make your life easier when you want to learn how to refuel in the F-14 so that's important do that and then set your hold into air to air mode I've already done that too that's not mandatory but I like it because I, I use the reference of the hold so you'll see what I mean in just a sec so let's go through the uh, real life checklist uh, before refueling so what real pilots would do on their checklist for refueling number one is actually check that their master arm is off all weapons are safe then you're gonna check that you're not dumping any fuel so your dump fuel switch is off which it is we're good and then what I'm going to do is actually my air source uh, to the cockpit I'm using both engines as default that's how you should fly the Tomcat but I'm actually going to move it to the left engine since the probe is on the right I don't want to soak any fuel on the right engine and maybe have a main function or anything so I'm going to switch to left engine air source that's going to be the next step on the checklist and then from there the next step is going to be to open your probe so I'm going to open my probe okay probe is open and I'm actually make, I'm going to make sure that if I'm carrying drop tanks I'm going to put the switch all the way up okay to all it says refuel all that means I'm gonna refuel drop tanks and all internal tanks of the Tomcat now that I'm with my probe out I want to make sure that my airplane is nice and steady trimmed out I've already did that because I was frame formation and then what I'm going to do is actually check out for other airplanes so there's no one on the way what I'm going to do is slide right under the probe and I'm going to aim to it with the little cross on my air to air mode hold okay so you want to aim to the tank just with the top of that cross that's what I like to do get a little closer there and this is the reference that is going to help you refuel a lot easier you need a reference where does that basket needs to be for me to connect that's what gave me some headache at the beginning when I was learning where the Tomcat came out but now that I can uh, now that I know my references actually refueling is quite a regular thing I do in missions and and now I, I just do it you know it feels good now when I'm getting closer as I get closer you want to actually put your zoom on default you see that's the default zoom on DCS use that because that's going to help you judge distance better then from there when I feel I'm comfortable, I'm actually going to call that I'm ready for pre-contact. I'm going to hit F1. Ready, and these guys are going to send the basket and the hose. So they're sending it. 
I want to keep here nice and steady. Okay, don't get too close. Remember, this is a wrist game. Just keep your plane steady, keep your throttle with small movements. I would recommend you guys if you're using a uh, uh, well a joystick, of course, if not, it will be quite impossible to refill if you're not using a joystick. But uh, use your curves between 25 to the right and 30 in your setup so that you have uh, a lot more of accurate movement when you roll your airplane also when you pitch but roll is gonna be more more of an issue here when you refuel so use curves on pitch and roll 25 or something try out now check out i'm already steady and i'm gonna come in what i'm going to do and this is the trick look at the lines of my on my pitch ladder okay i'm gonna put the basket right on the middle of the hub to the right as you can see where it is and i'm going to put that green line the number 30 the 30 degree pitch ladder number i'm going to put that number on the hose you want to put that number on the hose all the way and now i'm going to come in check it out just don't look at the basket look at the number on the hose keep that on the on the, the keep right. it keep it keep it there keep it there keep it there contact see now that I'm contact, I want to throttle, throttle back. I don't want to go too far in front. And then just throttle back and forth, just making sure you are not going to crash into the bomber or also going too far back so that you're going to disconnect. So at the beginning, you're going to struggle a bit with this, but you'll get the hang of it. Also, check out, check out uh, what curves you can use on your throttle. I use about also 20 to the right i like my throttle to be not that sensitive so i can move it more and it will actually so move less i don't know if that makes sense so but um what i what i like to do is use those curves like 20 25 to the right it's going to make it a little more accurate and now this is just Zero a waiting 10, game aim your cross to the base over there of the hose where it's connected play oh okay you see I kind of throttled back a bit and I disconnected. No problem. Keep her steady. What I'm going to do is just ease back. Just a bit to the left. Come back in. Come back in and again you're gonna see what I'm doing. Put the number on the hose. Number on the hose. Just number on the hose in the middle, number on the hose. And contact. See? At the first. Okay, we, we did it good. Now we're taking fuel again. And let's make sure we are close to the airplane so that we don't disconnect That's because we're pulling coming. back. So I'm only going to take... Uh, I have drop tanks and I could take like 20,000 pounds right now. Let's hear what Jester has to do, how much fuel we're getting. He's going to call it. I love the Tomcat because this is the only plane where you don't have to look down to see how much fuel, fuel you've got. 12,500. 12,000, you see 12,000, we started with about 4,000 pounds, so we're having, uh, we're getting good fuel. I'm going to go on, on and get 16,000 pounds and then I'm going to move to the right right side. I'm not going to go all the way to 20, I don't want to make this video too long. Steady, steady, we're good, we're good. Uh, fuel 14,000. 14,000, we're good. okay, thank you there slider for me slider you know i like more just there wasn't actually a uh, rio in top gun so oh okay we disconnected again no problem easy with it this is gonna be something that this gonna be probably gonna happen to you to the right. so you can see actually how you can go just again and connect okay so let's go ahead and Number, number on the hose, number on the hose, number on the hose, keep it in the middle, number on the hose, keep it in the middle, number on the hose, keep it in the middle, contact. Alright. See? That's the important thing. Now just make sure you don't get too far back. And then taking fuel. And just wait. Wait again, wait again. See, when you see you're, you're going back, just throttle up a bit and when you just play with it, play with it. 
fuel, 15.5. 15 15.5, we're almost at 16,000, so I'm almost going to pull off. We're at 16.3 now, but I'm... Okay. So let's hear what... Fuel, 16,500. 16,000, okay, that's good for me now. I'm actually gonna throttle back, you're gonna see now on purpose, I'm gonna just detach. Okay, that's detaching. Transfer complete. That was transfer complete, now I'm actually going to call abort refuel so that the tanker can put in his hose. I'm gonna slide under it, to the right, put my probe in. Okay, and I'm gonna form on the right side. This is what we said earlier. It's gonna be called the reformation area. So now that I have fuel, you see I have 17,000 pounds of fuel. I can wait here for my mates or whomever uh, are going to refuel, and then we go continue our mission or whatever we need to do. So. I hope you guys liked the video, learned something new, and uh, remember, this is a patience game, you need to practice practice refueling, it's one of the hardest things to do, just don't get desperate, try and try, and if you need any help or something, I'll be happy to help you answer any questions, um, yeah, that's it, so I'll see you guys in the next video, and thank you, thank you for watching.